I was not gonna make a video on this update because it kind of looked boring to me until I got spammed in DM saying that I have to check it out. And it was mainly these five things repeating over and over again. I have heard that they completely changed the way Creatures of Scenaria works. So here I am on vacation making a video on this update, specifically starting with this. So if you click on login rewards over here, you have loyalty bonus. I am not quite sure. Okay, I did not favor Creature Scenario, but I believe I am in the group. So if we verify, we should be good. New Creature Scenario would like to access your avatar items. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, loyalty boost activated. This is huge for me and many other people. You can finally get one more slot. 11 is the maximum with the extra three slots now. This is awesome. I can really see how this changes the Creature Scenario. This is worth it so far, but there's four more things. And I believe there's new creatures in the game. So I'm I'm gonna check that out real quickly. Let me see. It is the Florin. Oh, I got a buy it for 84,000. I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, I genuinely don't feel like spending that much on a creature, so I'm just gonna buy a trial version for the sake of the video. There we go. Oh, wait. There we go, Florin. So let's check out how revolutionizing this creature is. It can't be that revolutionizing. It just looks like a normal artifact creature. It doesn't even look that cool. I'm not gonna lie. My game's not loading in. <laughs> oh, jumps! What tier is this? Let me see. It's a. Medium. What I'm curious towards is the max age, so I'm just gonna use one of these tokens. I don't have much hope for this creature, sadly. It just doesn't look that strong. So it is a photo for kind of thing, so it does have health trait, which is another new thing in the game, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, it has adrenaline invisibility. It doesn't look that strong. I don't know if this thing should be strong or not. I, I have no clue. It might be one of the other two creatures that revolutionized the game, but I, I don't know. I have low hopes. Oh, I might be able to test the damage here. What is that? A Karakou? Die! Oh, it one hit it. I can't even test that, man. That's horrible. Well, luckily, my friend Cat's on the way on the map right there. Oh. Oh, hello, Itza. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, don't come towards me. Do I have ambush? Oh, I do have ambush. Is this a semi aquatic by any chance? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is quite fast in the water though. That's that's cool. That's cool. Okay, cat should be here. Is that you? Yes. Can I test the damage? I mean I'm not fully yet. 360 what? It has 250 damage. I don't know, it doesn't seem that good still. I'm not a big fan. What does this do? Damage plus 20%. Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, does it mean that I do what? Huh. Just quickly in between this video, I want to show you something that revolutionized gameplay for me. So we're all aware that only when this times four showed up, then you start healing your ailments. But it takes around one, two, two seconds for that to show up. So if you press your sitting and laying animation quickly after you show that, it starts straight away. So make sure you use that to your advantage. A lot of people do know about when you lay down and you press sitting animation twice that you stand up way quicker. But the first one that I told about, no one knows about. So make sure to use that to your advantage but this brings us to our next thing because i genuinely don't know how to feel about this creature it's very good for ailments but that's not my place on myself so i don't like it myself i like the more heavy damage things i understand if you like this creature though but we're gonna go to the next creature and i've heard that this one in particular is very special and to get it we're gonna have to go to gotchas and it's all the way in the ending of death gotchas <laughs> and there's a 50 50 chance okay this is gonna be quite painful please Give me it the first try. I really want this thing because it kind of looks really adorable. And we got a Therian boss. Are you kidding me? Second one. I guess we're gonna do this over and over again. It's gonna give me a Therian boss again. I have a slight gut feeling. <gasps> no, we got the Yulium. I have heard that this thing revolutionizes creatures of Scenaria because it's an entire new type. This thing is called a Sky Aquatic, meaning that it can go in the sky and it is a aquatic as well. Although I'm not quite sure how this works. Uh, how do you do the sky thing? Oh, you just press spacebar. Can you also glide? Is that a thing? Oh, you can glide. Oh, this thing is stupidly fast. What? Whoa! What? Okay. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Dude, this thing has fun. I believe this is not the only creature being moved to this. There's other creatures like the Glovacus, I believe, that's being moved to Sky Aquatic now. But man, this thing is... What? This thing is so fast. Okay, I want to try something. You guys are going to love what I'm about to try. I am so sure of it. So there's a plushie in the game called the Swan Plushie. And it gives you Agile Swimmer. It makes you so much faster. So let's see how fast this is going to be now. I feel like this might be the best creature to grind uh, underwater things with now. I genuinely feel like this might be one of the best creatures in the game. I like this a lot. 
I like this a lot. This creature is really good. Dude, look at how fast that is. What? That doesn't make sense. And I'm giving one of them to you guys. All you have to do is subscribe and leave down your Roblox username in the comments. Keep your eyes out for a friend request on Roblox though. Why does it jump so far? Oh my lord, I love this thing. I love this thing. It's so far. Oh, it's hard to control though. It's very hard to control. Am I the only one that thinks this is crazy? Right, this creature is worth it. This creature is worth it. You can just keep on jumping like this. That is mad. That is mad. I like this creature a lot. I mean, of course, moisture got added, which is very, very bad for aquatics. But, you know, it isn't that big of a deal because it only takes half of your HP and adds slowness buffs. Okay, so this is the first stage of this creature. And this is the last stage of the creature. Well, are you there? Oh, this is quite handy. So we've got the tiny version and the big version compared to each other. And I've got a bite trait, which is the new trait that got unlocked. And this is perfect segways because this is the next point I wanted to talk about. So we've got different traits, which is a new thing. But this one in particular is the bite trait. So these traits got added a week ago and now we've got new ones. And the bite trait sounds really, really good. So let me actually hop back in game because I don't... Oh wait, now we can see it. Bite cooldown minus 10%? That is OP. That is very overpowered. If you get that on a high dealing damage creature, you are literally unstoppable. That is insanely strong. That absolutely breaks creatures of Scenario as well. And we still have a few things to go over. That is okay. Okay, I, I like this. I like this so far. This is definitely worth it so far. But as much as I love this creature, I'm gonna have to go to the next one because there is way, way more that revolutionizes creatures of Scenario here apparently. So there is one more creature which is called the Therokis and it looks quite cool so far. So the Therokis is in the limited gacha, it's not there right now though so you can't get it. So regardless of if you have it or not, I'm gonna check this out for you. So, oh this thing looks really cool in game actually. Wow, I did not expect it to look that good and it has jumped now. Okay, that's, that's pretty solid. I like the animation, it gives me dinosaur vibes. Let me see. You have unlocked the health traits. I think that traits might be a guaranteed on creatures, I'm not gonna lie. But that looks really cool, actually. That looks way better in game. What is- oh, is that you? I almost killed you there. So it has escape area, which gives you speed, I believe. Walk speed and sprint speed. Okay, let's see how good the damage is of this thing. 286. Okay, that's pretty solid. I like that. 175 damage on the stat chart. I'm not gonna lie, the new Manta Ray is probably one of my favorite grinding creatures now. That thing is insanely fast though. I'm not a huge fan of this one. It looks cool, but I don't think... Why does it walk so derply? What? <laughs> what? I don't think I'm gonna be using this one anytime soon anymore. What I recommend you doing in this update from someone that doesn't have a lot of time is literally get this creature. This creature is so worth it. It is called the Yulium and I recommend you to get that one extra save slot. That one is so worth it. Of course you can get the stat traits but they are pretty easy to get so you don't even have to grind for those. So anyways I think those three are the main things that I would recommend you go for. I think that might be about everything. Not gonna lie that was quite a good update. I'm very glad that I checked that out on the vacation not gonna lie this was definitely worth it anyways this is gonna be the ending of the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one